wizards, witches, and muggles. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. Today's video, we are here in my favorite magical shop of all time, which is Punny Dukes. Now, I have done a tour here before, but this time, I'm gonna show you a little bit extra because Punny Dukes has actually expanded. And not only that, they have adopted my 11,000 Lego brick Niffler. That's right, you weren't hearing things. So if you wanna do a little shop with me and see all of the magical treats, then keep on watching. And if you're brand new to my channel, hello, welcome. Don't forget, you can click the subscribe button if you like to come part of our weird magical online family. But let's go, cause there's a lot of magical things to look at. And Okay, I need a basket. <laughs> da -dun 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 -dun. sure if I've already mentioned but I actually have this entire store to myself today so I'm gonna go a little bit wild now I'm gonna get a basket um I was gonna get one of these really small ones but let's be real oh I don't need two. Ooh. Oh, I've got two still <laughs> fine it's a sign to buy more <laughs> should I do it again now, I'm not sure if I've already mentioned, but I actually have this store to myself today, so there's no holding back, honestly. So I'm gonna grab a basket. Um, don't think I'll be needing the tiny baskets, to be honest. So, I'm ready. And I think I'm gonna start with the pins, because you guys know how I feel about enamel pins, and there's a lot of new ones that I haven't seen. I've not been here for a very long time. So, oh, and, oh my God, I'm already seeing there's one that I knew that I wanted, which is this beautiful one, which is the Deathly Hallows. Oh, it's so, so pretty. So that's definitely going in my basket, but I've just spotted one down here, which is by Wizarding Pins, and it's a really cute little remember one. That's really, really sweet. I've never seen those before. Cute. Or oh, is it by Lazy Creative? It's still cute. Oh my God, I need these punky pins. I'm getting that. Anxious AF, that is a pin that is made for me. I actually really like this brand of pins. I've seen them on Instagram and they've got a few here. They've got a self-care pin. Oh my God, I want them all. I want them all. They're so nice. Oh my God. Yeah, so you definitely have to come and check out Punny Dukes for their pins. It's definitely one of my favorite things that they stock here. Um, just because I'm a massive pin lover, honestly, I'm just like so distracted right now. It's like, turn the camera off, I just want to shop. <laughs> We've got little Felix Felicis pin here, which is very sweet by Lula Rocks. These ones are really cool, actually. Um, I've seen these on Instagram as well. They're really glittery and hard enamel. Um, who would these buy? Animagus. So you can find those online. Very, very cute. We've got some cute earrings. Also, they don't just have pins here. Oh, there's too much to show. They've got some really nice glass work in at the moment. Um, and I am kind of really wanting this pumpkin for Halloween. It's really, really nice. But I also really like the little toadstools, which we've got over here on the top shelf. Everything's just so whimsical and magical. And I need to breathe. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, I get like this every time I come into Punny Jukes and there's always new stock when you come here. So you can visit one week, visit two weeks later and they've got new stuff in. It's, it's just a nice little treat for you, I guess. But yeah, so many pins. I also really like this one as well. Oh God, I'm gonna have to get that one. You guys know why. It's a time turner. I've already got three pins in my basket. This is, uh, <laughs> well, just, yeah. I can't help it. Okay, let's move along a little bit. So this is when you first walk into the shop, you've got this. Then over here in the corner, we've got kind of like the vanishing cabinet, but it's a cabinet full of really nice handcrafted jewelry. And a lot of it's silver as well. Um, so if you want a proper treat yourself and you're into witchy kind of, things like that. I really like that spellbound ring 
Um, I was actually, I actually saw that on Pony Duke's Instagram as well. They've also got a witch necklace, which is gonna witch. I actually want everything in this cabinet, but I am going to control myself. <laughs> but that's, that's the bougie part of Pony Dukes. <laughs> okay, so we've also got some handmade ones over here and a little fireplace. So don't forget to bring your very own flu powder uh, so that you can travel via the flu network. Um, and here, I love this little machine, it's so cute. Um, we've got some handmade things, like little bracelets. I actually really love these. These are made out of sterling silver. It says, I solemnly swear that I'm up to no good. Very, very cute. And then you've got all of these like acrylic necklaces, which are quite fun. Um, definitely take your time when you come to Punny Jukes because there is so much to see. You could probably do like a loop around the store about five times and still miss things because there's just so much magic here. Uh, so let's take you into one of the first rooms, but whilst we're going past here, we've got the world's biggest owl that you've ever seen. <laughs> and then in front of that, you've got a lot of candles. You can get your own house candles. We've got Gryffindor, Slytherin, and all the houses and lots of stickers, which is pretty cool. And also you can get your very own handmade ones, which are very cute. I like those. Okay, so now we're gonna walk into one of the main rooms here at Punny Dukes. This is actually one of my favorite rooms here because there's just so much going on. It's quite visually, visually loud, which is how I would describe it. There's a lot of color, there's a lot of things to see. There's a lot of different store sections. So here we have got Pooh Brains Emporium, and then we've got Baggins Bazaar and Second Star to the right. There's, there's a lot. And even if you look up, you've got these beautiful hot air balloons and then like a flying ship, a flying key. I've never seen that before. <gasps> you guys know how I feel about flying keys. That's so cool. I want to poke it. <laughs> oh my God, it's really cute. It kind of, okay, let's chill. Okay, so let's start over here. We've got some cushions. We have got the classic KTAB socks, which are in all Hogwarts houses. We've got Hufflepug, Ravenpaw, Gryffindor, which is my house, and then Slotherin, and then the iconic Punny Duke socks, which I don't actually have, and actually kind of want. I'm gonna treat myself. <laughs> You're gonna hear that a lot today. Um, so we've also got some tote bags and some pieces. Ooh, I've seen this on Instagram and it's really cute. <laughs> I really like it. These are very nice. <laughs> okay, so this here is again, another one of my favorite sections because it's kind of all witchy kind of things. We've got some salt candles as well and these chakra meditation uh, medallions, which is really cool and lots of little witchy things. And there's also wax melts, which they do the little, I believe these are the things to melt those on. Yes, they are, they're really cute. And oh my goodness, what are you? <gasps> it's a kitty cat head candle that smells really good. I would never want to burn that if I bought it because it's so pretty. Okay, stop sniffing candles, it's weird. <laughs> you can get your own little witch's broom as well, which is very sweet, and lots of stickers. Always remember to look up and down here because there's so much to look at. Oh, oh my goodness. So many things. Now, if you like a good bath product, if you like a good magical bath product, actually, there is one of my favorite bath bombs, which is stocked here, which are these. I actually have one of these ready to use in my bathroom at home right now. This is the Stone of Philosophy bath bomb, and they're really, really lovely. Um, I do recommend these. They make your bath water a nice color. They smell nice, and I always stock up on these whenever I've run out at home. So yeah, lots of different bath bombs. Again, in house colors, we've got Butter beer lip balm from the Little Shop of Lathers. Very nice. I just love everything. I really want this parrot, to be honest. I feel like he'll make a nice pet. <laughs> the creepiest wheel of all time. Okay, I think let's talk about these first. So, I've just noticed a print that my housemate would love. <laughs> These are so nice. 
Okay, so there is uh, a lot of artwork here done by a lot of artists and they're really, really talented. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. There's two sides to this. I'll get around to the other side when we go round. But yeah, we've got a classic Snape over here, which is amazing. Oh, look at that little mandrake. Oh my goodness. It's a book of potions. Oh, <gasps> le owl. <laughs> Yeah, make sure to have a proper browse here. There's some really nice stuff. Okay, last time I took you guys here, this bit was like a mystery door that you could not go down. No, no, no. But now it is open. So follow me. We're gonna go into the back room of Pony Dukes. We're gonna go into Mystic Alley. But first, welcome to Azkaban. Have you been I was about to say, been a naughty witch or wizard, but sounds a little bit weird. Um, you can actually go inside here to take photos. Just try not to lock yourself in. I just noticed that there's a dress up box down here. There's wands, there's little wizard hats, scars. Oh my God, cute. Very, very cute. I'm gonna get out of Azkaban because I do not belong there. I'm a very good witch. <laughs> okay then, I don't think you're ready for the this bit. <laughs> come on in, come on. I just slammed my basket onto the wall, but it's fine. Come on in, come on in. Welcome to Mystic Alley. There's a lot to take in. I know, we've got, we've got stores along here, we've got shelves along here, we've got a lot of art, we've got a lot of glass bottles, which I'll show you right now. Look at them, they're so glorious. I, I just love vintage bottles, everything's very magical. Also, can we talk about number 12, Grimmauld Place? Amazing, but don't go in there. Sirius would not be pleased with you. Just saying. Okay, now I guess I should, firstly, I'm gonna put my little basket down here. Let's talk about the Niffler, shall we? If you come here and visit Honey Dukes, you can visit my Niffler, who is called Nigella. Nigella the Niffler. And she lives over here in Gringotts. Yes, we appreciate a good pun. Gringotts Wizarding Bank. And here is Nigella. She's looking glorious in all of her pearls. Uh, a little bit of backstory to her. She was built by Lego themselves and it was um, a promo piece that was dotted around the country and in London and stuff to um, promote Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald. And then I was very generously offered to adopt Nigella. I said yes, she came to live with me and she ended up living in my house. I didn't realize she was gonna be that big. <laughs> so now she lives here in Pony Dukes. So if you do come here and visit Pony Dukes, definitely take a picture with Nigella, tag me in it, tag Pony Dukes. I would love to see the pictures. Okay, let's talk about this place. Firstly, when you enter this room, don't forget to look up because the dark mark is on the ceiling. <laughs> A very large dark mark, which makes me imagine what it would be like to actually see the dark mark in the sky. It'd be quite daunting. I'm gonna stop looking up now, it's gonna give me vertigo. So let's start over here. We've got some very beautifully made handcrafted pieces and one of my favorite things on this shelf are actually these. These are made, all of this shelf is by an artist called Rach Makes and I love her little tiny acorn boys. They're so cute, or maybe the girls, who knows? But they're the acorn babies. We've got the standard one, we've got the crying one, and then we've got the fresh green one. Um, I own this one and can we just talk about their little butts? They've all got tiny little bums. <laughs> oh, I just really like these. I tend to buy these for friends. I bought Cameraman Chris one for his desk, but I just love them. They are so, so cute. <laughs> I kind of really want the green one. <gasps> I don't know, I think you'll fall through my basket. Oh, no, there you go. I'm gonna get a green acorn baby. Yeah, Rach makes stuff is really, really nice. Uh, they she, She's also made these, which are like large mandrakes, which are pretty cool. There's also little mandrakes over here in a variety of colors. But also, if you're a Hufflepuff, she's made these beautiful 
badges with scarves on. They're so, so cute. Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, so, so cute. If we move down the shelf, we have come to Whimsical Inks. Uh, this artist makes a lot of paintings on wood pieces, which is really cute. Like, look at these, how, like, magical. These would look lovely hanging, like a window or something. They're really nice, I like those. Also little fairies. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, okay. You guys are gonna love these. You can buy your very own mandrakes. Look at these. Look how cute it is. <laughs> it's so cute. Who makes these? The Stitch Tower. These are very, very beautiful. And you can also buy mandrakes in little Weasley jumpers. So you've got like a little, well, house jumpers. Um, Slytherin, Ravenclaw, we've got Hufflepuff and a Gryffindor one there. But I really like these. These are little key rings. It's a little mushroom. That's so, so cute. I do like little mushrooms a lot. I've got some more things down there. I actually have one of these incense box, uh, which we'll come on to a little bit more in a minute because there's a lot of incense sticks over here. Oh, and down here, there's bath bombs in baskets. Where have these come from? I'm just gonna go to the till with this. <laughs> That's all I need, I'm done. I'm done chopping. I've got all our bath bombs, I'll see you later. <laughs> Moving on to another magical set of shelves. Firstly, the top shelf, which is by Magical Maintenance, which you can find on Etsy and Instagram. She does a lot of potions. So what have we got? We've got Devil's Snare over here. That's ingredients as well, isn't it? Keep out of sunlight, extremely dangerous. We've got Dittany over here. We've got Tarantula, no, Tentacular Pods. I can't read. <laughs> oh, these are sweet little love potion. This one's Eagle Owl Feathers. Oh, very, very nice. Oh, we've also got some pins, Potion Club. Keep off the dirigible plums. Now, this shelf in the middle, um, I'm not sure who makes these. Mucky Paws Ceramics, what an amazing name. Um, these are all beautifully made. Aren't they stunning? Um, I love moons. Oh, I really like these. Oh, they do little cauldrons. I say little, they're quite large, but can we talk about these cauldrons with the little feet? These are very nice functional ceramics made in the northeast of England. So these were all made in England, which is cool. I just love magical things. <laughs> and then down here, this this is a special shelf because this belongs to Katie's mum. She makes um, lots of cool things. Dawny's sewing room. So we've got some hair scrunchies in house colours, which are really, really cute. We've got some hair ties, hair bands and stuff. I actually have one of these. Um, this is, they do them in kids and adults. I've obviously got the Gryffindor adults version. And she does these little pouches as well. I just love that they're all in hand, um, in house colors. They're really, really sweet. Um, so I like those. I have not, who's Katie? Katie is the Punny Duke's owner and magical head witch here. We'll go to the Katie room very soon. <laughs> so down here we have got, I've not seen these here before, they're very cool. These are like um, palm reading ring holders, which are quite nice. And <laughs> Vegard bought this when he visited here. It's the Witch's Brew Cauldron Mug, which are really nice. Oh, I'm surprised I haven't bought this for myself yet. We've got Resting Witch Face. Very nice. Now, I did mention incense sticks earlier because they do, oh my goodness, what are you? Oh, look at this little palmistry storage box. I love that vibe. I'm very much into that aesthetic. <laughs> oh, are these for the incense that are the little cones? Cause that's very cool, little pentagram thing. But yeah, they have all different incense sticks. Um, kind of based off different chakras. Uh, can I open these to sniff? No, I can't. <sighs> I want to sniff them so badly. I'm not going to, but they're very nice looking. And then they have the little incense cones as well. And it comes with a holder. Just love all this kind of stuff. It's very me. It's very, oh, 
Speaking of Katie, Katie AB is an illustrator, if you didn't know already, and she has a lot of her illustrations around Punny Dukes, which you, she's got a very unique style, very recognizable. And there's a lot of postcards here, and I feel like you guys will love them. We have got Cello Snape. She loves a good pun. She's known for her puns. We have got Remus Hula Hoopin. <laughs> Poldemort, which is a little bit rated we've got Tom Fiddle there's one somewhere I'm not sure where it's where it's like got a little bag like Thomas Little <laughs> which is quite funny forks the Phoenix with lots of forks <laughs> oh my god some of these I haven't seen like Coldemort <laughs> Snape back oh iconic Nagini in a bikini no yeah <laughs> oh goodness gracious oh yeah I just love all of her postcards she does some that aren't um magical as well so we've got some bowie ones we've got some really good quotes um <sighs> i will not say do not weep for not all tears are evil the ones that love us never really leave us think of the happiest things is the same thing as having wings oh my god so cute oh yeah i do like these they're really good for um kind of vision boards and stuff, the quotes. We've got some more artwork from all of the Putty Dukes artists that put their stuff in here, which are really cool. This is new, I've not seen this before. This is um, some stuff that's been crafted by a felt artist called So Heart Felt. Um, and they make these really small little booties. These like little polar bear, oh, a little seal. Polar bear or seal? Seal, I think. Um, these are so cute. Oh, I love these cards. Every time I come in here, I laugh so much because <sighs> I'm going to penetrate your mind. Severus Snape. God bless his soul. <laughs> what, and this is just so cute. You're a total catch. Can I slither into your chamber of secrets? Very naughty. But yeah, there's, there's cards for every occasion and they're just so cute. High five. <laughs> now, when you turn around from here, you are welcomed to Frogsmeade. I'm going to wait for the train very patiently, but this is a great photo spot actually in Punny Dukes. I love it. And up there, there is a train on top of Frogsmeade, which is really, really cute. And let me show you my favorite part of Frogsmeade. Come over here. You're gonna have to come closer. What are you doing all the way over there? It's better. Are you ready? For the frog of dreams. <laughs> Draw me like one of your French frogs. Um, I love this little fella so much. I kind of want to... Do you come up? Yeah. Oh, I can take him home. Katie won't know. I'm trying to fit him in my pocket. No. Should I just put the frog in my basket? See if she notices. She will never notice. Okay, so Frogsmead is next to Nigella the Niffler. Please respect the sign. Please do not touch the props. They're not for sale, but I'm allowed to touch Nigella because she is my Niffler. Do not touch my Niffler. Everyone's gonna start taking photos touching my Niffler now, aren't they? Did not think this through. Don't do it. <laughs> okay, over here we have got Professor Squirrel's Menagerie. Now, there is a beastie here, which I love. I haven't purchased him yet. I don't know where I'd put him if I bought him, but I love him so much. And it is the pheasant up here. He's handmade and it's made out of felt and I think wool as well. I just love pheasants. I have one behind my house in a field and I've named him Patrick. And I feel as though that's Patrick and I kind of really want him. But yeah, you can get some really cool things here actually there's a lot of 3d printed stuff this one's kind of raven glory but there's a lot of dinosaurs they kind of look really shiny because it's, mm, it's very cool stuff and we've got some more pieces here by the felt artist which is cool look at these little luna love goods what is this <gasps> a little gilly hand sewn gillyweed potion that's so cute i am obsessed got a little mermaid these look like the mermaids in um, the 
black lake, which is pretty cool. I like the sparkly mermaid tail. Very nice. Okay, let's have a little nosy on round. Here you can get all of your crystals. We're here at the Beaky Cauldron. <laughs> this is 3D printed, it's so cool. This is like iconic to Punny Dukes. It used to be in a different room, but now it's here. You can get tarot cards here. You can get loads of tiny little vials filled with different crystals and that kind of thing. And you can pick which ones you want. Also, if you want to know which ones they are, there's a tiny little book right here which feels really funny because it's got like this mossy stuff all over it but it'll tell you what all the crystals are and it's got all the um, personality traits, the qualities, what colour they are all the info is in there, this is really nice, I love the way the light hits this gosh that's satisfying, very cool now I don't need any more tarot cards because I've got way too many already but they are quite fun okay so I think spoke about everything in this new expanded part of Punny Dukes. If you've not been down to Punny Dukes A ever before or B if you've been and not seen this bit yet definitely come and revisit because this one's definitely becoming one of my favorite rooms and just you wait until something new comes. Look. Come on now. Oh my basket. She won't notice. No, it's fine. Stop <gasps> looking. <laughs> the reclining frog. <laughs> it's my reclining frog now. <laughs> now, before we go into the restricted section, which I will talk a little bit more about in a moment, we have got this wall right here. Firstly, we've got this giant wall of fame, which has all of the backers, I believe, from the Kickstarter. Is that correct? Yes, it is. Um, so everyone that helped make this store become a thing is here on the Wall of Fame. Now we've also got loads of little felt mice which are definitely new. I've never seen these before unless I've been completely blind. But also we've got many patches down here. Some of these are new as well. So many things. I love the aura patch which is cool. Now. Are you ready to go into the restricted section? Now, just in case there are any young wizards and witches watching, this section may have some naughty words in it, so you may want to put your earmuffs on, but come on in to the KTAB section of Punny Dukes. Now, I am a little bit biased because Katie is one of my besties, but I love her stuff so much. I always come in here to buy my family their birthday cards because they're always so much fun compared to regular cards that you can get from any shop. Um, I also am obsessed with her swearing cat magnets. I did tell you that there were some very bad words in here. I wasn't lying, but my fridge at home has the entire rainbow of sweary cats on it, and I love it so much. Now, Katie does so many things, but she also does pin badges, and some of these are incredible, like this empty jar of well, I'm not gonna say the word, but yes. This one is new. Get in the sea. Oh my God, cute, cute, cute. She also does sweary cat badges, which is cool. Now I am gonna show you my favorite coaster. This is actually on my desk at home, pride of place. It's the check out my whiskers coaster. I'm still waiting for like a cushion with this on. Katie, have you made the cushion yet? Put the frog back in the basket. She's stealing the frog. Put the reclining frog back in the basket where it belongs. Where is reclining? I've never seen it. <laughs> oh, fine. You wait until I visit when you're not here. That frog will be mine. Where was I before? My frog got stolen from me. Um, okay, so yes, I have this. Oh, I was asking Katie, have you made this into a cushion yet? No, but I will do. She's gonna make it into a cushion. She promised. <laughs> but yeah, I love the checkout. Check out my whiskers. You gotta say it like that. Um, honestly, I kind of feel like I need to get more coasters. There's the pumpkin of procrastination, which would be good for Halloween, to be fair. Punch today in the face. Yeah. <laughs> uh, keep doing the thing. Chill the f out. The timeout tape here. Great. <laughs> Oh, yes, oh, and the satsuma of self-care. Make time for yourself, you matter, and you are important. He said so. 
<gasps> You've got the bags of bravery in here. These are brand new. Look at things. <laughs> are you feeling brave? Do you need a bag? The bag of bravery. Yeah. It's also fully embroidered. It's very nice. It's very spacious. Look at all that space. I could probably fit half of me in there. She's going to pay me later. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here are all the cards. Um, let's pull up some of my favourite ones, though. I think there's quite a few new ones here as well. Um, let's have a little look. Oh, I will always love you, Mum. That's cute. The Flamingo of Friendship. This is a very corny card. I bought that for my brother once, but I don't think I gave it to him in the end. Um, here is your birthday pheasant. I bought that one for my grandma once. There are so many things. Oh, and this one is nice. This, you should know you're not alone. Another really good one for like vision boards or just boards of positivity, which is cool. Um, this one's my favorite, which will probably have to be blurred, but we are in the restricted section, so maybe not. Um, yeah, so many cards, so many beautiful illustrations. Now, you know how I was fangirling about the sweary cat magnets? You can get sweary cat socks, which I do own some of. There are so many in the sweary cat socks section. I have these ones. Um, someone asked once why I blurred my socks. I think it's in my bookshelf tour. This is why. <laughs> now you know, I'm telling you all my secrets. Something that I am going to put in my basket actually is uh, a brand new pad of productivity because I I've nearly finished mine at home and I'm a big list lover. This is my favorite list. So I'm going to quickly go and put it in my basket. So here we've got lots of stickers. Also, if you didn't know, Katie actually does children's books. We've got We Catch the Bus, We Eat Bananas. Um, she's got some necklaces, some patches. This one is very appropriate for the internet. <laughs> Be nice or go away. Yeah. I've just realized we've got giant Snape cards over here. Bend and Snape. Severus Drapes. And my favorite Newt Scamander quote of all time, worrying means you suffer twice. Oh, I'm gonna get one of these for my mom because she's doing jigsaws at the moment. <sighs> right, I think I've covered the Katie Abbey section. Come on through and we're gonna do the other half of the main middle room. I'm gonna move my basket. She's, she's posing with the frog. With my frog. Maybe I'll put him down here. Where were we? Okay. <laughs> right, this bit. Now, I was gonna say that that's the end of the Katie Abbey section, but she's also got a shelf over here, which we'll come to in just a moment. I'm gonna show you the other half of the art section. There's some new art here, which is actually really cool. There's there is these herbology prints, which are really lovely, actu actually. I really like this bit here about the dirigible plums. We've got mandrakes. This I've never seen before either, which is of the stained glass window, which is in the prefect's bathroom, which is pretty cool. I like that a lot. Some beautiful prints at the bottom. I have this one in my bedroom, I believe, which is nice. Oh, these are nice as well. I don't know who does these, but they're very nice. Hedwig, pets of Hogwarts. Oh my God, look at Pigwidgeon. <gasps> Someone needs to make like a replica of Pigwidgeon. It's so fluffy, I'm gonna die. <laughs> so cute. <gasps> oh, okay, so KJB's Shelf of Dreams. There's a lot of pin badges here and there is one that I've had my eye on for the past, I don't know, while and it's this one and it's just cried, still badass. I'm gonna wear this after I've had a little cheeky cry not that I cry that much but feel like I should get this badge I feel like it'd be very appropriate I'll go in the basket in the basket of dreams but yeah there's got this one be the be the person your cat thinks you are same with the dog very very cute if you've got pets really like those they're also kind but badass 
Yeah, love this. I also love this. This is a dream board. So if you're into like the law of attraction stuff like I am and Katie, uh, I put my faith in the universe. And it's got like a gratitude list and all of, all of the things to make your dreams a reality. Love it, love it, love it. More pads of productivity. Okay, let's get this up and move along. Oh, I've not seen you before. You're a wizarding planner. Ooh, very nice. And we've got my favorite um, writing pads over here. These are so, so nice. Love these a lot, have both of them in my office already. I use them on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, they've got some new stickers here. They've got the, oh, look, a little picket bow truckle. Love that. I also love this as well. Oh, that's really nice. That would look nice on my laptop. This one is made out of paper, but for £1.50, can I complain? What else we got in here? We've got some new things. Ooh, got some new pin badges. Got some favorite and black stuff. Yes, very nice. Oh, also, this is a really nice pennant. It's a Quidditch World Cup one. They've had these in for a long time. They're very, very nice. We've got more coasters over here by Katie. We've got a lot of different stickers up here. We've got some bookmarks. I really like the Alas Earwax one. I think that's really, really cool. Yeah, this room's just, there's so much to look at. I love all of the stuff like on top of all of the little sh shop sec sections, like all of the vintage books and stuff. I love the ceiling, the clouds, which if you've watched my first video tour here, you will know that there are some hidden images in the clouds. There's a sorting hat, a unicorn, HP, which you can see over there. And there's some other things which I will let you find when you visit. <laughs> oh, look at these signs. So, so cool. Okay. Well, my basket's got plenty in. I think it might be time to go and buy some things. Wait a minute. So, Let's go purchase some goodies with the Till Witch. Till Witch. <laughs> I shall do that. I don't know if you haven't pressed the bell. Sorry. Yes. <laughs> Wrap him nicely in tissue, please. <laughs> He'll fit in this bag, I think. <laughs> no. No, no frog for you. Okay, guys, I think I've done enough shopping for one day, and I really hope you enjoyed this little insight and tour to Punny Dukes. Definitely check out their Instagram and their website. I, all the links will be in the description so that you can go give them a little follow and that kind of thing. But yeah, I'm gonna take my bag and go and enjoy all of my magical wares. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, give it a magical thumbs up, and I will see you guys next time. Okay. But on a serious note, I didn't steal it. Don't steal from Pony Dukes or you will have Katie hunt you down. Here's your frog of dreams. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs>